Welcome to Music is a Day Job, where we make music a day job. You can get this money, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm your host, Sean, and this is brought to you by Concert. I'm also the CEO of Concert. Um, Concert is an app that is an accelerator that takes artists from opener to headliner to touring artists and gives the, the fan the best experience in independent music live shows in the world. Um, today, what we're going to talk about is how to find inland sponsors. Now, the first pieces of this is like you have to understand what type of sponsors you're going for because it's it's tons of different ways of how you land them um, based on what you're landing them for. So that's the main question is like, why, why are you looking for sponsors? What are you trying to get sponsors? Because a lot of people just try to get sponsors just to get sponsors. It doesn't make any sense. Um, the actual landing is you just need to be able to give them what they want. So the actual landing of it is whatever you're doing, you need to show them some type of whatever you're offering benefits their business for them tying their their brand to you. That's the main piece of this. So now you just have to figure out, like, what do you need a sponsor for? Why do you need a sponsor? Um, now, the first choice is between big sponsors and local sponsors. Now, the way you got to think about this is like this. Now, if I was to go to get a big sponsor, like, let's say, uh, like Coors or something like that, or, you know what I'm saying, a big brand, a lot of them have money to pay for big artists. So now in comparison, now you're trying to say, hey, you should give me sponsor money, but they have the money to pay a French Montana, a Taylor Swift, a Drake. You know what I'm saying? They have that money. So then it's going to be harder to prove a reason to a big sponsor to sponsor you when your fan base isn't the same unless they have something where they need more promotion in an area to a specific demographic. Now, some of these big companies do have um scenarios where they have situations that need smaller smaller people being sponsored so it's kind of like for instance a smaller distributor of an alcohol that's well known might need someone to get alcohols in a couple of smaller venues so then they're willing to pay you a little bit of money to help you if you can facilitate those situations because you have shows at these places or whatnot um i've always said to go more the local route with your sponsors because see the thing is is local local companies can't afford to pay some of these big influencers to actually promote their product and now you have a demographic of fans that's in a smaller area that might be next to this place's um places of uh, business of the, their their actual brick and mortars and stuff like that so then you'd want to they would want to get you to speak to the people in those areas because you might have a strong following in that smaller area and they don't have to pay crazy amounts because they can pay you an amount that they can suffice you versus having to pay like a million to this big artist over here they can pay like a thousand two thousand and get you to do it and facilitate it to your smaller fan base within that area. Now, that is a stronger point right there for you is if you have a fan base within this area, which as I always tell people, get your fan base by going to concert and building through shows because this is how you build a fan base so you can get sponsors. Um, once you get that fan base, then you can say, hey, I live in this area right here. This company is well known in this area. They might not be in any other state. They might not even be in any other city, but they might just be in this space. But then you might be well known. So then their consumers right next to you, like you have all their consumers as your fans. So it would be smart for them to connect with you to give you a couple marketing dollars to help them. So that's the step you're using right there is saying, hey, my fan base is in this area. My fan base will do what I want them to do. They'll come here and like, however you make that work, you could do in stores. You could take pictures with their product. You could do all that. Like there's tons of different ways you can figure this out. And I'll talk about that later in, in, um, in the conversation. Um, so now you then decide money versus product. Some sponsors can't afford to pay money, but they can pay in product. 
and some sponsors would rather play pay in money instead of product so both ways are amazing if you have money if you can get money amazing i've had sponsors pay up to 12 grand a month and so it's an amazing it's an amazing thing because that that's that's funding for your career like while you're in those situations where you might not be on tour you might be rebuilding like rebuilding a new album and everything like that this will hold you over as long as you do whatever you said you had to do whether you're doing shows or promoting them online or whatever or using your influence however to keep that amount of money coming in um product now what i say to people this goes into how does this product fit into your brand now you can just go out and do any product you can and like as some people would say to me like i don't drink alcohol but i've had alcohol sponsors i don't smoke weed but i have I've had a lot of weed sponsors um in those scenarios i'd say like to me see what was happening when i was going off of brand of me as a person it was more what my consumer what my consumers were a part of and if i'm making party music more than likely i'm in the club and that's where the alcohol is so it made sense for me to be like okay well if everyone's going to drink at my parties and at my shows and in my videos then let's get paid for what they're drinking you know what i'm saying like and if everybody's, you know what I'm saying, smoking weed that's in my songs and hanging around me and everything like that, then I need to get paid for saying, go here instead of here. So I, you can always find tons of products. I've gotten watches. Like I, I like to also pick products that I need. And especially in the cities I'm touring, like get a sponsor of food because you got to eat. So then when you get to a city, you have food that like you can go eat and maybe it's a discount or maybe it's free food, but it's like you can you know you can go eat there you just might have to post some pictures you might just have to you know what i'm saying whatever you have to do um that's the free food um clothes that you want to wear a lot of times people would like back in the day people be like man you ain't wearing a, <clears throat> these name brands i'm not going to because i can get paid to do and the thing is is i get <laughs> like the, the response is the response I still do numbers. So at the end of the day, I'll wear a brand that's coming up just like I'm coming up before, way before I wear something to be a part of a trend. That's one thing I dislike that a lot of rappers, like famous rappers do. They spend all this money on these, these like overseas things and stuff like that. And a lot of these companies do not care one, nothing if they ever wear it. And they will swear by everything to say, man, I'm wearing this new Carla Valenci he's something and it's just like yo bro like you doing all that for somebody that don't even care that you wear it and they don't even make people like the way you are they don't even support anything that you're doing but then I can wear the homies brand down the street support him and he support me and we can get it popping you know what I'm saying so I'll never like I got on a, one of the homies brands right now like, see, so see, I ain't even talking. I ain't even talking crazy because this is one of the homies brand right here. And he hooked me up. I didn't promote it tons of times. Hey, <clears throat> to me, in this in this world, <laughs> in this world, either either you're pimping or you getting pimped. And when a brand can make you wear stuff just because the brand is the brand. <laughs> like if you're just not like as far as in people in the business world like i'm not saying consumers consumers need to consume what they want to do whatever you want to do as a consumer wear what you want to wear do whatever you want to do because that's what describes you as a person people in this business world that are artists like who i'm talking to people who are artists in this world if you're an artist you dictate the trend they don't dictate the trend you dictate the trend so if you dictate the trend, you can say anything is dope. So why get pimped when you can be doing the opposite? Like you can be creating the trend. And that's the goal of this is to create the trend because that's what feeds your family. <laughs> so I'm going to support who supports me. And that's my new merch. Speaking of that, if you go online soon, you can probably see my merch, which will be support who supports you. That's what this is all about. So. Finding those products that tie into what you like. Like I had a glasses uh, sponsor at one point 
and it's just like, I need glasses. <laughs> so why not get a sponsor? Because then I can get paid to wear the glasses or I can get them for free. You know what I'm saying? So that was the goal with those. Um, now, the things that you can, the three things I like to split that you can put the sponsors on are you have events, music, and you. Um, events, of course, if you're doing enough events, which look there, look there, concert, you can then put them on your events. If I'm doing three, if I'm going on tour and I'm doing like three, four events, five, five to 10 events a month or whatever like that. I'm going to sponsors and saying I'm going to be around this amount of people in this many areas. Hey, I'll take your product or I'll I'll take your product with me or you can have booths at my events or whatever. Like, however that needs to work. And you're going to shout them out or you're going whatever you're going to do within those events to be like, this is how many people. And see, that's a direct way to land the sponsors because you're saying how many people are going to be. Like, for instance, in, in my in my sponsor decks, I'd say stuff like this. Like I knew in Denver, I'd have maybe like 500 to 1,000 people at the venue. I knew in Colorado Springs, I'd have around 200. I knew in Greeley, I'd have around 100. I knew in, in Grand Junction, I'd have around 100. I knew in uh, like, so like what, that's five, six, seven, eight, that's 10, that's a thousand right there. So then I'd guesstimate for a thousand people um, in person. And then I'd say it probably is going to online people, probably around a hundred thousand people are going to see all the promotions and stuff I'm going to put into this event, these events that I'm going to. So then look at those numbers as in, this is how many people are going to get FaceTime with your product because I'm going to be promoting your product right beside me um your music i would actually i've made songs so i've done this in two different ways i've made songs for products so that the product like uh for instance like put the name of the uh put the name of the product in your song at some point whether it's a hook or whether wherever and then i've made money off that be like hey very similar to how very similar to how um i think nelly did air force ones but i don't even think he had a sponsor for that he just did it. And see, that's what I'm saying. Like these big brands don't care. So it's like, okay, well, I'll say I wear this or I'll I'll say I drink this or whatever like that. And then that's what I would do. And so then I can put them in the songs and I can say, hey, this is how many people are going to hear this song. This is how many people are going to, you know what I'm saying? Like how many shows this song is going to play at, everything like that. And then these are all advertisement numbers for them. So they can see the amount of impressions that they are getting from different situations. Now, also with your music and your music videos, like if you ever see a music video, I have a song called Choose Up. Inside that, the alcohol paid for to be in the video and to be at a show. So, for instance, inside the video, everyone's only drinking a specific alcohol. And that's that's how you do that is this is how many impressions this video is going to get this is how many people are going to see it so if you're breaking uh, breaking a new alcohol out then you have to have people that look like they're they're trendsetters drinking it so that's how that works that's like all lifestyle branding um and now you this is where you start going like okay well i'm going to i'm going to do an in-store and so i'm going to come to your store do an in-store and bring all my fans over there so you're using you as the marketer. You're going to do that or you're going to be on your page all the time making content that's going to help them get more impressions. So you're going to make content using the product or wearing the product or however, and you're going to constant do it. And that's how you can be the, the advertiser for the product or whatnot. So it's tons of different ways to pull this off the land sponsors, but you just want to make sure that you have something that says, hey, this is how you benefit. More than likely, it's going to be in impressions. And that's what you want to offer is that I can get you more impressions to people that are in your area and in the demographic that you're trying to reach because that's who my consumers are and that's who your consumers are. So let's connect and you can build a bigger brand while I build, build a bigger brand. That's the goal of getting a sponsor.